Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's the Monday morning show. And I've got a few comics to show you. And uh, an unhappy kitty cat. He'll get over it. Let me fix the, the focus a little bit. I don't like the way it is. I had big plans on what I was going to do today, but I didn't have any time to get any of it prepped, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'll do it on a later video. So I'm just going to show you a few comics, show you which ones that I'm nominating for my cover of the week, and uh, we'll go from there. So if that's what you want to see, don't run off because it comes up right after this. So, first thing we're going to take a look at, didn't even, didn't even prep them, didn't even take them out of the boards. Fold that over. This goes in the garbage, because I don't need these bags. I use Mylar. That I'll use for something. Looks like it could use a bit of a cleaning on the back. Adventure Comics number 385. It has a long crease here, a shorter crease there. Needs a little bit of a cleaning, possibly a press. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. We'll, we'll press that out though. Haven't looked at it to see if it's complete yet, so let's do that real quick. Kind of a yellowish to cream pages, so I'm just going to call them cream. A lot of pages are folded over. Yeah, this one definitely is going to get pressed. I might cold press it and then clean it and then do a hot press on it. Overall, I'm not unhappy with the condition. I wish all those pages hadn't have been creased like that, but I'm not unhappy with it. The cover presents really well. Just needs to be cleaned up and maybe pressed. Well, definitely pressed. Next, I have Action Comics number 463. Now, I already have a copy of this, but I think this one's in a little better condition than my, mine is. Take it out of this. unneeded sleeve. We'll look at it, see if it's complete. This one's actually pretty clean. It doesn't need to be cleaned. Might need a press. Pages are off-white. No major creases. A minor crease down here. And a couple of stress creases. I think this one is going to end up in my collection. I think this one's better than the copy that I have. Whichever one is better will go in my collection. Whichever one isn't will probably go for auction. Here we have Action Comics number 462. Again, a nice copy, but a long crease here, another crease here, some stress along the spine. Oof. Yeah, this one I don't think is going to make it into my collection. It's got uh, 
looks like a, a uh, tape. It looks like part of the cover was lifted with tape. And it's got a lot of bad wrinkles on the back. I could probably press them out, but I don't know if I want to. Okay, these, these, that's not missing, it's just folded over. Must be a crypto story. Yep, crypto the super dog story. Kurt Swan art. I'll check, but I think my copy might be better than this one. But again, whichever one is better. And here's Action 461. This one's a pretty nice copy. No real creases, little little ding on the corner. A couple of stress creases. Reasonably clean. Damn. Another tape pull up here. That's why I don't like tape. That is definitely a tape pull. Next. Well, this is a little bit more quality here. A little, a little better quality bag or sleeve. But it's not my light. Back looks in good condition. I don't see any tape poles on the back. Needs maybe a slight cleaning along the spine, but other than that, it's in pretty nice shape. DC Comics presents Batman, Superman and the Joker. One, two, three, four, five, six stress creases. A little crease here. Overall, it's in nice shape. This one will go in my collection because I don't think I have it. Uh, this one is worth getting because it has the DC preview of Wonder Woman. Roy Thomas, Jean Colon, and Romeo Tangala. A Jean Colon Wonder Woman. I believe I could live with that. Yeah, this one is going in my collection. And here's another action comic. This is from the same guy that I got those two with the tape pull, so I'm a little leery about how good a condition it's in. Got some cover dirt. Definitely needs a cleaning. Probably doesn't need a press, but definitely needs a cleaning. Overall is in pretty nice shape. The corner slightly folded over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine stress creases. So, fine to very fine, because none of them are very big. I mean, they're m very minor stress creases. And it, but, uh, I like that cover. And the last comic of the day. This is uh, that other stuff. It's not Mylar. Uh, I think it's not Mylite. I think they call it like Polylite or something like that. It's a poly bag, but it's a little bit better 
better made. And this is spawn number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven creases on the cover. That's definitely takes it down into the find a very fine range and that's really the only thing wrong with it that I can see nice white cover on the back it's got a little little stain up there stain down there maybe I can get those out but overall it's in pretty nice shape um, I decided to collect spawn but only the first 12 issues. It was going to be 10, but then I decided to go to 12. So I think I need two more to finish it. So as nice as that cover is, that'll never be my cover of the week. Well, maybe in 1992 it would have been a cover of the week. I like this one. I like this one. And... I like this one so these are my three that I'm selecting as cover of the week which one do you like best let me know in the comments is it adventure 385 DC comics presents 41 or action comics 454 I still don't like that focus. I've got some stuff that I should be able to use to remove uh, sticky, uh, like uh, stickers on comics or uh, you know uh, price price uh, stickers and uh, tape and stuff like that. I should be able to use some of this stuff to remove that. Uh, I'm not sure. I have to test it. Uh, if you want to see me test it on camera and not test it off camera before I show it to you on camera, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll consider it and maybe make it into like an experiment. Uh, I've got some other stuff I want to try out and see what it does. So we'll be revisiting the cover, uh, you know, where I put the little pieces of cover in the water and and mix something in with it. We're gonna we're gonna revisit that and see what another easily uh, obtainable item will do. And I think that's about all I've got on uh, new experiments that I'm thinking about doing. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Uh, so let me know which cover you like. Is it Adventure Comics with Supergirl? Is it Superman and the Joker? Or is it... Action Comics with Superman putting McDonald's pretty much out of business. <laughs> Let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, don't forget, before you handle your comics, wash your hands. It's good for your comics. It's good for your health. Bye.